warm air from the westerly wind belts and cold air from the polar easterly wind belts do not mix easily since they have different temperatures and different densities. The warm air and the cold air are separated by a frontal surface. This is the general circulatory or weather pattern. If this weather pattern is disturbed, a temperate cyclone will develop. The initial or origin stage of a temperate or mid-latitude cyclone. The frontal surface is disturbed by an acceleration of one of the two air masses. The disturbance is caused by a disturbance in the westerly wind belts. The disturbance in the westerly wind belts can be caused by the shape of a coastline, mountain ranges, or the contrast between land and sea temperatures. A low pressure cell develops. The low pressure strengthens at the apex and winds begin to rotate clockwise around the low pressure cell in the southern hemisphere. The weather system starts to move from west to east in the westerly wind belt. The mature or growth stage of a temperate or mid-latitude cyclone. A cold front develops where the cold air pushes into the warm air. A warm front develops where the warm air pushes into the cold air. The air pressure at the center of the low is still above thousand hectopascals. The occlusion or old age stage of a temperate or mid-latitude cyclone. The cold front moves faster than the warm front, overtaking it. The warm sector is lifted off the ground. The two fronts combine and move as an occluded front. As the cold front or temperate cyclone moves over an area, the wind direction will change from a northerly wind to a northwesterly wind, to a westerly wind, and ultimately to a southerly wind. This is known as a backing of the wind, and it takes place in an anticlockwise direction in the southern hemisphere. 